Okay, now before I get into the video, I just want to say I'm not taking, um, I'm, I'm not really blaming any of these people for talking, um, well, for my tiny stories. Like, I have a few tiny stories in this video. For I don't blame the people for just being a little talkative throughout most of the film, and then pretty much me or my mother had to get up and go and tell them to please quiet down. And some of them actually did. And for how many films I see in a year, that is heaven. That is a great thing to do. And most of the movies I go, I go to, most of the people are calm, they're respectable, but just. <clears throat> Just some of them, you just, they just had to not be respectable. And when someone is respectable, it's just, it, it, it's the greatest thing. It's the greatest thing. Yeah. So, let's just get into my bad movie theater experiences. Let's start off with the only kind, let's start off with the minute one, the only minute one. is when I saw Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So I was watching Godzilla King of the Monsters with my mom. I had a great time with the movie. I really enjoyed it. Thought it was a great monster, dumb, fun movie. A lot of a lot of dumb characters. A lot of uh, uh, not that good of a script. But overall, it's a fun. I was having a good time throughout all the film. So I was just watching, and we were at the scene where Rodan pops out of the volcano and starts chasing down the military. Awesome scene. And then. And then um, Rodan started fighting Ghidorah, and then that ended, and then G Ghidorah's heading at the ship, um, and then Godzilla comes out and starts fighting. So it's the tiny fight, we're at the fight in the water. Godzilla is King Ghidorah, they're fighting in the water, they bring up the oxygen and destroy that scene. There were people. Now, I was sitting about at the second top row. I was, I was the second top row. Um, so the top row was like right behind me and my mom. We're in the, about the middle seat so we can see all the film. We're watching the scene, having a great time. People at the in my theater, um, now at my theater, there's like two like big theaters that have like a ton of seats and two at the end, um, like two seats that like a couple could sit at the um, edge of the theater to see at a sideway angle. Two people were over there. And they were, and my mom, I didn't really hear them, but my mom did. And when the fight started happening, I started to hear them a lot. And they just had to be, and they were just pretty much referencing everything. Like, oh, that's a reference. Oh, that's a reference. Oh, my God. And apparent, and pretty much my mom had to get up, walk all the way to the other side of the theater to tell them to calm down and, like, stop talking. And they actually did. And they actually did. Nothing happened. We just sat, watched the movie, made my review, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? So I'm fine with that. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. It's fine. I saw Annabelle Comes Home. I saw Annabelle Comes Home. Now, for the previews, I was still quite iffy. Because we saw a preview for the movie Claw. A movie that I'm quite anticipating. I'm excited to see it. Looks like a fun monster. Uh, looks like a fun uh, crocodile movie. When, um, the, when, you know, if you've seen the trailer, it's supposed to be like a horror movie. Um, uh, and you see, like, all the jump scares with all the alligator and he's eating people. And right, and, and I swear, right when the, the trailer ended, the girl right, the lady, like, the, like, right in front of me had to just let it out. Oh, we ain't gonna see that. You had to do that. You just had to yell that out so everyone can see that. And we were in, like, a side theater. And what a side theater is in my theater is there's like a lineup of a ton of small theaters. So there's like a line down the middle for like a row of people to walk by. And then all the seats are on the other side. And we were on this side of the top row on this side. So someone was right across from me and on the seat down. And we were just like, and she legit had to barge out and say, Oh no, I don't want to see that. No, no, no. You just had to. It's a preview, it's fine, whatever. The film's only an hour and 46 minutes, even though I didn't really even enjoy the movie that much. Maybe the audience would be fine. Nope. Same person had to just, had to just be like, <gasps> at every jump scare in the film. 
And if you've seen Annabelle Comes Home, you know the third act of how repetitive it can be with the jump scares. So I, for putting like 40 minutes straight, had to be, that girl had to be like, <gasps> it, it kind of sucked. So, yeah, but it's fine. It was only the last act and was that a preview? Okay, okay. I, I put it behind me. <sighs> now we get in to one bad quite bad experience that happened at about the first 30 minutes of the film and i'm sorry that just had to make the experience of watching the film that i didn't even like so i and in september of late 2018 we went i went and saw the predator even though if you've seen my video called my thoughts on the predator you know i really don't like that movie but um i was a bit more bittersweet on it in the first um and the first time I saw it, because I just wanted to be more, mmm. So, what happened? Was it about five minutes into the film when you were introduced to McKenna, the main character? These three people walked in. I'm not going to say the race or anything. Three people walked in behind me. Big, bo big bowl of popcorn. And just the plop themselves down on those seats like like boom and start watching the movie and as soon as they get down they're just like cracking jokes and laughing kicking my seat and it was just like that for almost all of the film and i'm just like mm, dude i didn't really even want to say anything because one i i look kind of pathetic and they probably still won't do anything and it was just I try to be as reasonable as possible. But throughout a lot of the film, they were just kicking my seat, laughing. But okay, it was a pretty bad movie. But I, put, I tried to at least put it behind me. It failed. Now for the last two experiences. This is something that I just can't avoid. These are by far the two worst theater experiences I've ever had. And it's a shame because the two of them were superhero movies. I love superhero movies. One of them I just thought was okay. The other one of them I really enjoyed. The first one is the less bad one. But it's still a very bad experience. And it happened twice. So I saw Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice twice in theaters. I saw it twice in theaters. I saw it once with my mom. I saw it once with my dad. For the first screening of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, I was with my mom and my sister. We sat down. It started to be fine. At the scene where Batman and Superman almost start fighting. Actually, it's at the scene where Bruce Wayne is having that dream um, like where he's visiting his parents' grave, that scene in the film. <sighs> These two people, this guy gets up out of his seat, and I don't know for whatever what reason, maybe the Bible hit him with some knowledge, or maybe some, some book that he just hated hit him, and just made him just go wild. Got up out of his seat. Looked at this guy and said, yo, you really want to go? Let's take it outside. They were about to start a fight. A fight in the middle of a two and a half hour film. What? What? It's just, it's crazy. Because the guy just randomly gets up, walks over to the guy, and just, got, and just like starts picking a fight with him. And they start like almost yelling at each other and take it outside. And I don't even know what happened. And then for the other experience which was me and my dad, we were watching the film, having a fine time. And then two people, two people, beside, like, two people right in front of me and my dad throughout the entire film. Guess what they were doing? Kick, 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 kick. Kicking the seats. And they were like, they were like taunting us, okay? They looked in on us and was like, oh no, yeah, we'll stop five minutes later. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, we'll stop five minutes later. Kick, 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 kick. What is wrong with people these days? And then, the worst experience in a theater I have ever had is when I sadly saw Aquaman. Now, I really enjoyed Aquaman. If you saw my review, I really liked that movie. 
but something just had to happen to ruin my experience. Now, when the film almost started happening, there were some previews. Family walks in. We were very excited. My mom was, my mom and my sister were very anticipating we were about to love the film. Sat in the second top row. We were ready. Got our popcorn. Got our seats. Ready to watch the film. Got there very early so we can get good seats. And some family had to walk into the theater, sit right in front of us, and then their two kids, I do not know what is wrong with this family, but they just had to let their kids go wild. They were just, they were screaming in the theater before the movie started. They were like, hey, I want popcorn. Hey, I want snack. Hey, can I go get a snack? And then guess what they had to do also? They got up out of their seat and started running down the aisles. Just like that and that and that. And kept on doing it like five times in the film. And guess what? When the film was even playing, they were still yelling at their parents. Hey, can I have a snack? And they had to go, come back in, run down the aisles, get back. And then the same thing happened over and over again. What is wrong with these parents? What is wrong with these parents? Why are you acting your kid? Why are you letting your kids act that immature? It's embarrassing for the kids and for you. Mostly for you parents because you are letting your kids act that idiotic and stupid. It is embarrassing and oh my god. I hate that. I hated my experience. And guess what? The theater projector had to F up too. Right when the film had its opening credits, maybe 35 seconds in, blank, black screen, they had to rewind the film like three times just to get it going. And these people were just freaking out. And again, those two freaking boys just had to keep on running down the aisle yelling and then they had to and i was just looking at them like are you kidding me they had to look at me and go <laughs> hello what are you looking at i'm looking at you being an idiot that's what i'm looking at <sighs> okay okay that's it that i'm done i'm done that those were my bad movie experiences if you have had any very sad bad movie experiences tell me down below so yeah share comment like and subscribe <sighs> and i will see you tomorrow